Have you ever thought about what WebRTC and online shopping have in common? And what does this have to do with the fact that you cannot deliver a couch on a bike? Hey everyone, this is Hector from WebRTC Ventures, and today we will leverage some networking knowledge to answer both of these questions. WebRTC provides real-time peer-to-peer communication but the data it transmits needs to be transported somehow. So, in order to understand how this works, we will use online shopping and delivery as an analogy. E-commerce and delivery platforms are a norm in today's lifestyle. You can get almost anything you can think of right to your front door with just a couple of clicks and a credit card. This is thanks to a complex delivery system that is behind the scenes taking care of planning, routing, and finally, delivering your packages. Similarly, during a WebRTC connection, the audio, video, and data information is transmitted as packets through the network. Now, let's do a quick exercise. Think of the delivery system that we mentioned before as a big network. Our houses, delivery companies, and shops are the nodes that belong to it, and the roads are the wires that connect everything our delivery network will look like this. Depending on the nature of a package, it may be delivered by our friend, Mr. Jones, the postman on his bike, or by Larry, the trucker, on his truck. Delivery companies have a set of rules and guidelines about when, how, and where a package should be delivered. For instance, having Larry's truck carrying over a letter is an overkill and you can't definitely deliver a couch on a bike. In the same way, it might not be a good idea for Mr. Jones to ride his bike on the highway. He might prefer to travel through a different channel. He'll be safer in the city's bike lane. In networking, we have protocols and ports. In simple terms, a protocol defines the rules and guidelines to deliver a packet in the network. And you can think of a port as the virtual channel where packets are transmitted. Ports and protocols are usually associated, but this is configurable. Now let's look at an example of what happens when you want to load a web page. You'll notice there is a prefix in the URL. Such a prefix is the protocol used to deliver the website. HTTPS is the secure version of Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP, and it's the protocol used for web page in the same way that a bike is used to deliver letters and a truck for couches. If the web page were a letter, then the HTTP protocol is the set of rules that dictates how it should be delivered across the network. The HTTPS protocol is associated with the port 443, and that's the channel used to deliver web-related packets. Ports are exposed at the server level. Now you know that both online shopping and WebRTC connections send packages and packets, respectively, whose delivery is ruled by a set of rules defined in protocols, and is the reason why you don't see a bike delivering a couch. Protocols also have associated ports, which are the virtual channels where packets are transmitted. You might feel curious now to know about what the actual protocols in a WebRTC connection are, but we will cover that in a future WebRTC tips video. Stay tuned. Protocols and ports are easy to understand, but building a complete WebRTC application is not. Luckily, at WebRTC Ventures, we specialize in building high-quality real-time communication apps using WebRTC. Contact us to know more about our services at webrtc.ventures contact. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn as WebRTC Ventures and WebRTC.Ventures respectively. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more WebRTC tips.